before the video starts, I just want to apologize for the audio in my last video. I had my headphones set to mono audio somehow, so I didn't catch that the audio channels got messed up, but I fixed it, so should be no issues from here on out. Also, make sure to check out Rivold's channel. He'll be uploading his point of view relatively soon after this is uploaded. Hi guys, I'm Haichi. Today I'm with Rivold. Hello. And today we will be building challenges for each other, and we will be decorating them and see who can make the better challenge in an hour. So fun. That's what I'm saying. Is um, it fine that I kind of just like got like a song prepared for it? Oh, I'll do that quick too then. <laughs> okay, so three, two, one, and go. So I'm gonna name this quick. Rival challenge colon three. Just three. <laughs> three, the third installation. So for the challenge, I'm using November by Lemkuja. I'm using this offset. Because I think it's kind of funky. And I think I'll do like a silly little uh dual spider part. <laughs> Like, asymmetrical, because I think that'll be kind of challenging. And then I'm going to have to figure out how to decorate this. Making any asymmetrical dual gameplay takes forever because of how much playtesting you need to do to make sure it not only syncs, but works properly. So that's what you're seeing here. This will be more of a memory challenge, if anything, because it'll just be like trying to figure out how this gameplay works. So I don't know how challenging it'll actually be, like, difficulty-wise. <laughs> How to make this like actually difficult though, I don't want it to be too easy. With the timer in the top left, you can see how time consuming just making a second of gameplay is with this. I do this neat little gameplay gimmick here where both spiders go on different platforms while the same gravity, and it looks kinda cool, and it plays nice as well. So I'm happy with it. Let's see how this works in normal mode. Okay. It works, okay. Maybe have this right here, yeah yeah. I then put this little corridor here. I think I'm gonna cut a lot of footage instead of montaging it because it's a lot of just playtesting and it gets really boring. But right here I do this little pattern where I hit my head with one spider and the other spider does this little click pattern. It's kind of fun. I then try to do something with an orb and a portal here, but I end up just putting one big pink orb here for both spiders to hit at once, which plays a lot smoother. I totally do like swing copter here, if I could get it to work. Plot twist, I couldn't. <laughs> I feel like Rivals is gonna be a lot better than mine because he's like really good at difficult gameplay where I just, my hardest level I have featured as an easy demon. Maybe I gotta make this ball just so it can work. Why is it not working? Maybe I can just make it small down there and big up there instead of swing copter. I think that'd be a better idea. And then of course some hard timing at the end, so just make him have so much fun. Just gotta clear this at the end and you win. Your win. Perfect. So I gotta put something like here, almost some structuring. Just gotta put some saws around to make it seem more difficult than it is. Rivals also on a different refresh rate than I am, I'm pretty sure, so hopefully this isn't bugged. Oh yeah! Okay, I'll just move this over a bit. I'll start decorating this now, because I have about 22 minutes left. Not bad. I'll go with this background, this ground, maybe I should do like purple, red, purple, blue, sorry. And then I might go just box meta with this. Make a little guy here with black outline. Can color background really bright? Maybe sh shift that down a bit. Take a little of that, make it darker. And then, easy colors. I just go and I put this over top, like T2. Copy color background, blending, opacity max. Yeah, go for it. And then hue like that. Actually, no, a different object. Figure outline object here. Do you like that? And this one, like that? Yeah, and then I got a little box I can copy and paste everywhere, like this. This is lazy, but efficient. And then I can do something else afterwards. Actually, I'll do it right now, just real quick. If you watch my last building video, you'll know what I'm about to do, kinda. I just select half these, move it on another layer real quick, give it a group, pulse 3, have it hold group 3, HSV, just forever, have it just shift in hue slightly, one darkness a bit, there we go, that kind of looks okay. And then I begin to copy and paste the blocks everywhere to fill in the structuring I set down. Hooray. And then I'll add pulses so that there's a lot of variation in a lot of variation in the colors. So it's not just these couple colors. I think instead of doing movements, I'll just do block transitions so the gameplay isn't messed up at all. And 
Give it a little look dynamic and cool. I would not recommend doing this for your actual levels because it looks really, really lazy and people can usually catch on that you do this. But it works for this small little challenge because it looks passable in my opinion. But if I were making an actual level, I would definitely add a lot of variation to these little designs instead of just having the same box copy and paste hundreds of times here. Okay, that's pretty much the designs done. I gotta do the first part of it, but I think I just might might make this solid white. Or solid black, yeah, solid black. And select all of these, make it one. Take the teleportal, make it one. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Select it all, don't forget, don't enter. Don't enter off. Make it the shrinking block transition. Your win. And then I gotta get a spike color. I think that works, yeah, yeah. Let me go through and select every single spike. I'll make the saws entirely black with like glow on them, I think. Okay, paste eight, paste color, splendid. And then we'll select them all, T1, so it's below everything. I then make all the saws black, put some black pulsing circles behind all the orbs, and then I put T2 glow balls over all the saws to make them a bit more colorful. And then for ground spikes, I can do this. Yeah, it'll work. Make it above everything, put some glow here. Also above everything, but this color. I think that's okay. Make this just down like this. It's above everything? Okay. Okay. And then I can layer this between things, make it like background color slightly darker. And I just do like pulsing squares. I put these squares all along the top and the bottom, and then I start putting them behind all the structures as well to make a little outline around them. And then I can make a quick background behind this, I think. This might look really stupid. Pulsing objects usually look fine. <laughs> Let's select all. Don't fade, don't enter, so don't fade. I have three minutes to make another quick background and some pulses. I'll work on pro pulses first. So quickly, just 1.5 out, HSV of the background, actually no color, paste this, make it bright, make it pulse the ground to this too. I usually don't use a line X, but I'll try it this time. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wait. That works. Now I just gotta put like things connecting this. Maybe like some X's. And then I can make it like a bit darker too. And then. Um. Oh, my timer's up. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> I'll go over the timer a bit. I'm gonna select all these X's and make it shrink a bit. You must not have gotten my message. I'll just interrupt him. Sorry if I'm interrupting you, but the timer's up. Oh no, it's all good, don't worry. I literally just finished up something. I had a very rough start, but oh. I figured out stuff, which was good. I am glad. I made it a very unconventional challenge. I don't know what I was thinking, but a lot of playtesting mm. went into it. <laughs> <laughs> we then upload our challenges unlisted, and we play each other's. <laughs> Hi, challenge. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll just play it. Is this like a memory ball? Yeah. How did I almost do that first time? Dang, shot? I'm surprised you almost did that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna practice it. <laughs> this is fun, though. Oh. I put a star oh. in <laughs> practice. What did I take out? A checkpoint inside that block. How, where do yeah, you it's go? like a pretty, like, short challenge, but it was still nice, I guess. Yeah. Oh, there's arrows! Oh, wait, that's really helpful. Not so challenging now. Oh, that thing at the end. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna beat it. Oh. This attempt, I'm gonna beat it. You got this. Whoa. <laughs> Yay. I do got this. <laughs> awesome. Very fun challenge. Thank Easy. you. Easy to start. <laughs> um, would you send this? 
sent for reported. This is the finished challenge I made by the way. If you want to see Rival beating it, go check it out on his channel when he uploads it. I'll have it linked in the description. Also, I'll upload my challenge publicly on my alt account Glass Beach if anybody's interested in playing it for whatever reason. So yeah, that's about it. It's a bit of a different video. I had a lot of fun collaborating on it with Rival. Make sure to check him out. Hopefully you enjoyed and have a great day. Goodbye.